Hi everybody, welcome back to Steve's Garage. In today's video I'll be showing you how to test your car battery with a multimeter to get an idea of its health or the health of your alternator. This can help you diagnose some problems with your battery or charging system, but it's also not a bad idea to do before the winter hits depending on how old your battery is. The only thing you need for this is a multimeter, but make sure that it has a DC volt option, which is this symbol here. This symbol is AC volts and that's only good for homes, so if you're buying a new multimeter, make sure that it has both AC and DC if you're going to be using it on both your car and your house. So now onto the actual procedure. Pop your hood, open it up, and locate your car battery. The first thing to do is a visual check. If the terminals are clean and not all corroded, you're off to a good start. If they are corroded, there's no need to worry, you can clean that up, but batteries typically only have a lifespan of about five years. Of course, there's exceptions to that rule, but if it's a little long in the tooth, it may be worth replacing and not wasting your time cleaning up the terminals. To determine the age of the battery, there should be a sticker on top. In my case, it's a small circular sticker that says 1221, meaning December of 2021. In other cases, it could be a larger sticker with punched out holes for the month and the year. Either way, it should be pretty easy, but let me know if you have any questions. Select the 20 volt option under the DC setting, connect the red to the positive, black to the negative, and see what your reading is. You should be sitting somewhere between 12.2 and 12.6. A little higher, not a big deal. Anything lower than 12 means your battery's not holding a charge and you probably want to get it replaced. Especially if you're here checking the battery before winter, if it's already having trouble holding a charge, once winter hits, you're really going to be in trouble. The next thing you can do is check the value while the car is cranking, and once the car starts up and is running, it'll let you know how your alternator's doing. Technically, the correct way to do this is to disable fuel or ignition, that way the car will crank but not start. You'll get a more accurate reading that way, and it'll be over a longer period of time. That being said, I rarely do that. I like to do it this way because it's like a two-for-one test. You should see between 9.5 and 10.5 volts while cranking the engine. It will vary based on ambient temperature. We all know that slow crank when it's cold out, and that's when this matters. If that value is below 9.5 and, and it's kind of warm out, you're going to be in trouble during winter. Once the car is running, you're looking for 13.5 to 14.5 volts. A little bit below 13.5 is okay. Anything approaching 13 or below 13 means your alternator is not charging properly, and it probably needs to be replaced. Anything above 14.5, you're probably overcharging, which might be a problem with your voltage regulator, and again, probably need an alternator replacement. The last test you can perform to check your battery's health is a load test, but unfortunately you can't do that with a multimeter, you need a specific tool for that. Luckily most car parts stores will do it for free, so pick your poison, head over to your closest one, and get that done if you're curious. You can check out more general diagnostic videos here. If you found this video helpful, please think about subscribing. Leave any questions or comments you have below. Thanks so much for watching.